Now, back in 2016, our merry band of pig skaters showing they can do more than just football. The Red Jacket Army finishing in sixth place at the annual Shoot to Cure HD Charity Basketball Tournament. So, how does last year's Cinderella team return to that glory? Well, I know someone that has that answer. Head coach and manager of basketball operations, Paul Rudy, is at Liberty Station. Paul, what you got? Uh, Brandon, I think you were burying the lead there. I know you mentioned that we finished six out of 47. With a, I think this is an important fact. 100% of our roster were KUSI employees. They were amateurs going up against some teams that were made up strictly of professional athletes. It's akin to the miracle on ice with the possible exception that there were no Russians in the field and that we did not win the gold. In fact, we did not make the podium. But that aside, let's talk to the man who's this is his, not only his personal inspiration, he is the creator of this event, Bill Johnson. Bill, when I see these people streaming in through the gate, all I could think of is if I were you, man, I'd feel really darn special. I am, I am proud. I'm grateful for all of the support that we've gotten over the years. It's our 16th annual Shoot to Cure HD, and everybody has been so supportive of the effort to find a cure for Huntington's disease. Uh, the fact that th this is a unique event this year because before you always had the Chargers as a draw. This year you're, you're going solo on your personal reputation and the field is going to be bigger than ever and the crowd's going to be bigger than ever and that's a tribute to you. So take a bow, young man. Well, no, it feels good. It go really goes to the hard work of, of our committee and that's led by actually my daughter Haley. She's done all the work to put this together. A great job bringing in 20 to 25 restaurants and bars, giving them out free food and beverages and all the sponsors like KUSI coming out here and supporting. Uh, Bill, uh, we have teams warming up. Explain to everybody what's going to be going on at these uh, 16 baskets uh, located here in, in Liberty Station. Why, who's, uh, whose idea was it to be at Liberty Station? Well, actually, that was our committee. That was Haley and, and the committee found this spot. It's a great location. Obviously, we've been at Charger Park for a number of years, so we needed to find a new spot. And this is going to be an awesome place for people. And there's still a chance for people to come out. If they want to come out, pay at the door, come on in, all the food and drinks they can eat. And I, I think you found your permanent home. I, I wouldn't leave here, man. This is great. It's a, it's a great all, spot. all right, so let's quickly mention what, what this is all about. What's going to be going on uh, at these baskets? Well, aside from all the food and beverages that people can consume, the entertainment is a speed free throw shooting competition. Five person teams make as many free throws as they can in three minutes, and it's a riot. And it's usually after people have indulged <laughs> or overindulged. And they just to have a blast. I want you to know the KUSI team has we have we're, we're off limits. We are not allowing anyone near the uh, bar. You're going for the medal this year. Yes, we are. Are you shooting? Uh, I I'm the director of basketball operations. So you're not shooting. No. All no. right, you got a shot then. <laughs> uh, Bill Johnson, everybody. I'm going to go introduce members of my team. All right, all right, I want you to meet some of the members of the 2017 PPR Run and Gunners. We're playing under the title PPR Season 19. I'd like to introduce a first year pig. Your name is Taylor. Crowdy, my favorite color is blue, and my favorite music is slow jazz. Right, thank you very much. Back for a second year is Alvaro Castillo. Back for another year, and I designed that shirt you're making, that you're wearing right there. Thank you very much for that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When am I going to receive payment? You're funny. Uh, hey, a first-year pig, Mason Kern, a la the sports watchdog, young man. What? Yeah, so I was wondering, did you know that Steve Nash has the highest free throw percentage out of anyone? That's fascinating, son. Uh, Matt Gilson, back for a second year. Matt, tell us about, uh, you played four years at West Hills. Sing the school song, please. I'd love to. High above the river valley stands the silver, blue, and black. Strong beside our right, That's enough. Uh, Jose Martinez back for a second season. Hey. Jose, shout out, please. Shout out to my wife, my seven-year-old daughter, Abby. They're both at the hospital because we just had a baby. Shout out to my princess, Shelby. She was born on Wednesday. I love you, and I'll see you soon. She must love the fact that you're here right now. No. <laughs> All right. And last but certainly not least, a fixture at KUSI. He's uh, been there for 20 years working as our production manager, Mr. Vince Douglas. Vince, give us a words of wisdom, please. Well, uh, I believe a good floor team is like a good good football team. You got to work together to give me the bonuses I was promised. Uh, Vince will talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, Brandon, there you have it. Those are just some of the members of our team as we're getting ready to improve on our sixth place finish a year ago. Paul, Paul wait, wait, wait. I think it's been a mistake. That that, that last guy, that, that's not Vince Douglas. Yeah. Vince Douglas. Yeah, no, that's yeah, not Vince, Vince Douglas. With the shot. I'm, ser I'm serious. Say again? It's, it, it's not Vince Douglas. I know that. Wait, do we have the file footage of who Vince Douglas is? I know we have. That's Vince Douglas. In, in, in fact, actually, the guy that you're talking to reminds me of um, DeMarco Sampson. I, I know that guy. 2003 Silver Biscuit finalist, played at San Diego State, drafted in the NFL. Wait a minute. 
drafted. That, that means he's a professional, Paul. Wait a minute, Paul, Paul. Is it possible that in your quest to win, you are violating contest rules? Are you stacking your roster with former athletes instead of KSI employees? Paul? Paul, what are you doing? Brandon? Yes. Brandon, Sherlock Holmes called. He wants his pipe back. What you, this is what not you, 60 minutes. This interview is over, Brandon Stone. Paul. Turn off the camera. Turn off Paul. the camera right now. Paul. Paul. All right, then.